It's a moment of joy, but also nervousness for 11-year-old Gisma as she packs her clothes. She's about to fly thousands of miles to see her parents, whom she hasn't seen for more than four years, since just before the start of South Sudan's civil war. My aunt took me to stay with her for a while, and then the war happened. My parents thought I was still with my aunt, but I was taken to an orphanage. I haven't seen my family in a very long time. Gisma is one of thousands of children who were separated from their families. The war started in 2013, when President Salva Kiir accused his former vice president, Rek Machar, of attempting a coup. Since then, many children have arrived unaccompanied at refugee camps after fleeing their homes. War Chol was in the capital Juba when fighting started in his hometown Fangak. His children were displaced, and it was nearly five years before he saw them again. I had come to Juba for treatment with the children's mother. The war happened and I couldn't contact my children. I even got sick and lost weight because I was worried about them, sometimes thinking that they were dead. Tens of thousands of people have been killed in the war, and a third of the 12 million population displaced, 60% of them children. Aid organizations say more than 17,000 children have been separated from their families since the start of the war. And with fighting continuing and more families displaced, it's likely even if some children are being reunited with their families, even more are being separated. The process of tracing families and getting them back together is no easy task. Some children are very young and you need to have like a lot of uh, uh, trained uh, staff you know to get information from children and the wide search area the transportation of children because no roads and it's only via uh, flights security is a very challenging thing sometimes you know we identify families and we know where the parents are and the children are in this kind of situation we restoring the links between family and the child because we cannot reunify the child due to some other security situations a security situation that kept war from seeing his children for years and which Gizma hopes will not deny her the opportunity for a long-awaited reunion with her family. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Juba.